The times, they are changing. I mean, Tesla is making electric cars that can drive themselves. Amazon is sending packages to your door with a drone the same day that you order it. And we are going to make a salad that's not boring. That's right, guys. Today, we're going to make a salad that makes even the most carnivorous of people say, damn, that looks good. And we're doing it with the Instant Pot. Guys, this is the Instant Pot salad. And we begin with our chicken brine. In a large bowl, add one quart or four cups of room temperature water. Next, add one quarter cup of kosher salt or an eighth of a cup of table salt. Table salt is more dense and more fine, so you have to change the ratio. Next, give it a stir in order for the salt to dissolve and add your chicken. Now all you gotta do is throw the cover onto this bad boy and place it in the fridge for anywhere between one to six hours. I chose four. It's now time to address our beets, and if you've never had beets in a salad, I assure you it's going to change your life. After rinsing and washing, you're just going to remove the roots of your beets and set aside. Next, put your steam basket into the bottom of the Instant Pot along with two cups of cold water. Next, place your beets in the Instant Pot, throw the cover onto sealing, not venting, and we're going to cook these on high pressure for 15 minutes. After your 15 minutes is up, you're going to release the pressure of the Instant Pot manually. Remove your beets, placing them in a bowl, and then run cold water over them. Now we have to peel these things. In order to peel your beets, it's easiest to grab a paper towel after soaking your beets in cold water and using your thumb, peel the skin of the beet back. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but you'll get the hang of it soon. Once you have peeled your beets, throw them in the fridge and let them cool. At this point, the beets have most likely stained your hands and fingers, so we're gonna use a little bit of distilled white vinegar in order to remove it. Next, we're going to boil our eggs, which we've already done an entire video on, but we'll go over this quickly. We're gonna place the steaming basket in the bottom of the Instant Pot and add two cups of water. We're gonna make a medium boiled egg here, not, not a hard boiled egg. Next, place your eggs on top of the steaming basket, put the cover onto your Instant Pot, and we're going to cook on high pressure for two minutes. Once your two minutes is up, you're going to wait a total of five minutes after five minutes, you're going to release the pressure manually of your Instant Pot and then place your eggs in a bowl of cold water. Then all you gotta do is let them cool, peel, and set aside. Guys, if you've never tried using a salt brine for your chicken, I assure you this is going to be a game changer. Remove your chicken from the fridge and rinse with cold water to remove any of the salt brine. Next, pat the chicken dry using a paper towel and season vigorously with salt and pepper. Next, preheat your oven to 375 degrees and place a large frying pan on medium to high heat. And I know, we're not using the Instant Pot for this and the reason being is that you just brined it for three or four hours and what we wanna do here is cook the chicken to perfection and the Instant Pot is just gonna overcook the chicken because it's too much pressure. It's, just trust me on this. After approximately six to 10 minutes on medium high heat, you're going to flip your chicken and place the entire frying pan into the oven for about 10 minutes. Make sure you check the chicken after 10 minutes to make sure you're not overcooking it. You want it to be 155 degrees in the center of the thickest part, and then when you set it aside to rest, it's going to continue to cook internally. Now while you're allowing your chicken to rest, you wanna make sure to keep an eye on it because in the past, I've had my chicken disappear. Now you definitely don't want to skip the step of brining your chicken because as you can see here, this is going to be the juiciest, most tender chicken you've ever had. Now all we're going to do is cut up all of the vegetables of your choosing and throw them into a large bowl along with your leafy green of choice. Now in this bowl, I like to add my salad dressing and give it a solid toss in order to get everybody coated with the dressing. Now all we have to do is finish assembling the salad by adding our chicken, our boiled eggs, and our tomatoes, which I forgot to put into the bowl originally. Now I'm just gonna grate a little bit of mozzarella cheese over the top, a little sprinkle of pepper, and we are ready to rock. I spilt some. Oh look who it is. Guys, do not skip the step of brining the chicken. It is so important. It makes this, get out of here, hey. Sorry. Um, it makes the chicken so much juicier and I mean, just try it. You gotta try it. Um, I know it's time consuming, but you got this. Together, we're going to make salads great again. Guys, as always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I will see you in the next one.
Thank you.